Welcome back, Learn to Code Nation. Thank you for your support, and thank you for watching. So in this episode, we're going to talk about how we use environments in the appsettings.json.net core console application. You're going to need four different dependencies. That is extensions.configuration.environment variables. Configuration.json, logging.configuration, and logging.console. Now, we're also going to introduce a new concept in this video called launch settings. And the reason we're going to introduce that is because we need to actually be able to simulate a runtime environment variable without actually having to change our configuration on our local development box. So, the next thing that you're going to notice in this project is not only do I have an app settings, whoops, not only do I have an app settings.json, but I have an app settings.development.json. Now, notice here, this one looks like a basic application setting file, right? Some, some sections with some configuration. Here, though, we just have one section with only ultimately one property that's overridden. Basically, we've changed the log level from debug to information. And what that means is we're going to only allow information and up uh, level logs. So let's dig into the code. So in the program, uh, we're going to notice a new section that maybe you have or haven't seen before. But we're going to load in the environment configuration first. So this add environment variables uh, extension method will go and get any environment variables. In this case, we're looking for one called runtime environment. So that's why you saw in the launch settings.json file, we have a runtime environment for local and a runtime environment for development. Back over to the code. We are loading now two JSON files, not just one. So here you'll notice we're loading the default app settings.json and we are requiring that file by indicating here that it is not optional. But then over here we're going to load this app settings.environment.json. Now if we look at the launch settings again, right, if we pull this up, we have local and we have development. So when we're running local, we don't have an app settings.local.json, though we could. But when we're running in development, we have it we do have an app settings.development dot json so that's going to get loaded on top of or after the original app settings dot json so you can think of these as defaults in the app settings dot json and these are overrides for the specific environment we build that configuration we go grab our settings right we build our service collection like i said there'll be another video that d um that um, deals with uh, dependency injection in more depth but we're doing this just so we can add logging to the application basically and then we're gonna log two different logs we're gonna log a data log and an information log now by doing this what we should see is if we run it as local we should see both logs the debug log is logging the environment name the information log is logging the settings okay so if we run this as local, notice there are two options, local and development. We should see both logs. So let's run it. And there we go. We have our debug log and our info log. And notice our default, you know, log level is debug. Now, if we were to change this and launch development instead, right? Now we can come up here, run this. We should only see one log, the info log. And that's what we see. We don't see the debug. So that's all it takes to bring in kind of set a set of environment um, app settings. That way you can override app settings per environment. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And I look forward to uh, being able to show you something new next time.